to Is It Fast? And welcome back to the Mojave Desert. It is that time again for the world's largest off-road race. This is the highlights of the 2023 Progressive King of the Hammers, powered by Optima Batteries. 1,001 registered teams competed in seven major races in front of tens of thousands of fans and several million of you watching live at home. Teams from 34 countries participated, including coming all the way from Australia, the United Kingdom, Germany, Israel, Canada, and Mexico. And with good reason, with this year's prize fund being a whopping $840,000. With multiple disciplines represented at King of the Hammers, there is a racing discipline for everyone. From Wrecking Ball, the Sledgehammer, the Jackhammer, I mean the hammer theme is, is pretty prevalent, to Kings of Veto and Thor's Hammer. I mean, they're just hammer mad here at King of the Hammers. But two wheels, four wheels, old cars, new cars, there's something for everybody. And the winners, of course, are absolutely delighted when they bring home the top prize. I mean, these guys didn't look too chuffed, but I mean, hey, people are happy in different ways, right? the world's largest off-road race and it's not without its dangers I, I mean that that looks like that looks like it's gonna hurt but don't worry folks the driver was absolutely fine hi i'm eric brinker uh car number 312 brinkfab motorsports we're from red deer alberta canada we've been coming to king of the hammers uh, our first race was 2012 and uh we come uh you know for the challenge for the experience uh, for the opportunity to get here with our friends and uh, do impossible things in uh, in a wonderful place that we just don't have access to at home. Uh, the land at home is nothing like this. It's uh, it's just amazing here. The uh, the un untouched wilderness of it and uh, the desert being so rough that you can't drive a pickup truck down it and we're going to do 80 mile an hour in a race car. It's hard to pinpoint the most challenging aspect of this race because it'll get you from any angle uh, and you just never get to see it coming. And uh, I think I think the, the adapt and change and uh, overcome aspect of it is what keeps you coming back year after year. This festival of off-road racing kicked off with the SRT King of the Motos, a hard enduro that tested 171 riders over a two-day multi-race format featuring land rush starts up rocky faces and everything in between. It was at the end of the competition the unstoppable Canadian Tristan Hart who took the crown for a second time. Here's what he had to say about this year's King of the Hammers. In the U.S., the hard enduro I think is definitely going to grow, uh, mainly just because of the the spectator. You know, everyone was on the live feed today watching us here at King of Motos, and it's just carnage all the time. It seems there's always something happening in hard enduro, and the people definitely like seeing carnage. It's not always fun for us racers, but for spectators, they like carnage, and hard enduro definitely brings that aspect. This year it was in the sand, then up Chocolate Thunder, which is one of the a difficult truck track, little hill. And I got a pretty good start. I was third or fourth. And then Colton got the whole shot and I was right behind him and he just made a, a slight error in navigation and I just took the right of him off the, the first corner and I got the lead right off the bat. So that was definitely good. But then I'm also navigating right off the bat, which is hard for me. And then people can key off me kind of and not have to navigate themselves. I love King of Motos for a lot of different reasons. Uh, the terrain here is cool. The mountains, the roly-poly mountains, the really cool canyons they have here, the truck tracks. It's cool that we have to navigate off GPSs. That's kind of unique in the United States. We don't have many races like that, so it's a challenge, especially in the desert here, because we're not just on one single track trail. We've got you know, truck tracks, single track, it's all intertwining, so you really got to be smart with the GPS. So this is a really cool place, and I think it's got lots of potential to keep growing in the years coming. 
The week of racing culminated in the crown jewel of King of the Hammers, the Nito Race of Kings, the race that started all the way back in 2007 when 12 mates gathered together on the dry lake bed and thought, hey, we could run around here, drive around and try to kill ourselves. And it was Raul Gomez who took home the crown of the Nito Race of Kings for the second consecutive year. A huge congratulation to Raul Gomez and of course, to every single competitor who took part in this year's King of the Hammers. Thank you very much for watching Is It Fast? Remember to follow us on your favorite social media platform of choice or keep coming back to our website to keep up with all the latest news, reviews and interviews as we bring you many more highlights throughout the year.